and I'm going to ask all the other children to come forward and sit where we usually do right here on the floor. As they do that, let me invite everyone to find the uh, friendship pads, the, the green ones that are located yep. beside you in the pews. If you can sign them and pass them along uh, and greet one another later as you check out each other's names, that would be spectacular. And the kids sit right down here, and we're going to have the first graders stand up here, and I am going to get something special from back here. This gives me a special thing in each hand, doesn't it? <laughs> Right. So as our, I'll stand down here so the first graders can see me too. So as our first graders know, because they've been through our milestone last week, baptism, which is what this water, see this water, this water is for baptism. Baptism is kind of a big deal. And I wanted to share with you all this morning, because lots of you have been here for baptisms, and most of the time when we baptize somebody, you guys can go ahead and sit down right there. That'll be the perfect spot. Thank you. Most of the time when we baptize somebody, it's somebody who's just about this big. Right? Have you seen people that are about this big being baptized? Just, just little tiny babies that we hold, we hold right in our arms. In fact, this little baby will be baptized about a month from now. Lots of times when we baptize people, they're very little. So I want to, I want to bring him up as a visual aid. <laughs> but today, today we get to baptize some people who are a good bit bigger. So people who are, uh, who are kids, just like you, and everything will be the same except Except these kids are so big that it's harder to hold them. Okay? <laughs> but the same thing will happen. We'll use, we'll use this water and, uh, and we will uh, we'll make the same promises and their parents and their families and people close to them will come up and then everybody in the church will make a big promise and that's why I'm so glad that you all are down here and especially that our first graders who learned all about this are up here. Because when the time comes and Mrs. Kwong, where's Mrs. Kwong? Mrs. Kwong's going to have a big question to ask of everybody, and it's your job to answer that question too. Because when we baptize people, we promise them and we promise God that we are going to teach them, and we are going to love them, and we're going to tell them about God's promises. The one other thing that I want to tell you about, about baptism, and this is our first graders know this too, don't you, is that this water, we had to go a long way away to get it, didn't we? This water comes from a secret cave in Babylon. <laughs> No, no, this water, this one, where does it come from, Lily? It comes right from the sand. This is, this is just ordinary water. I wonder, here, let me do this. I'm going I'm to walk down this way, and here's what I want. I'm, I'm going to have the first graders stick their hands in the water, and I'm going to have them go like this and flick you with it so that everybody can trust that it's just ordinary water. Get your hands in there. Wait, wait. It's ordinary water. Oh, so look at that. Everybody's getting wet. And just like... Just like now, you know it seems to be springtime now? Just like, Got it. <laughs> just like in the springtime, the rains fall down and the water helps, helps the flowers and the grass and the trees to grow. The water that is in baptism helps us to grow, to know God's love and to understand and to love God and Jesus back. So now what I'd like to do, I'm going to ask our first graders who have learned all about this, I'm going to ask you all to sit right here. Can you sit right down with your friends, right on the carpeting? And in a couple of you all can get front row seats for this very special time. I'm going to invite our baptism families and uh, our elders and deacons who are participating today to come right up around. And they'll be up here. And you all, I want you to listen carefully for when it's your turn to make your promise. You can come right up there. For when it's your turn to make your promise. And then first graders, first grade milestone participants, you have to pay close attention because at the end, there's something very special for all of you to do. Friends, as we enter into this time of sacrament, let us hear these words from the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Hear also these words from Scripture. The promise is for you and for your children and for all who are far away, for everyone whom the Lord our God calls. And so it is that trusting in the promises of our Lord Jesus Christ and obeying Him, we baptize those whom God has called. On behalf of the Session of Crossroads, <coughs> excuse me, Presbyterian Church, I present Timothy John and Benjamin George Doolin, sons of Joanne and Michael Doolin, and Kai Jerome Kriegel, 
son of Deborah and Jeffrey Priegel, to receive the sacrament of baptism. So now for the, for the parents, I have for you these questions. Friends, do you desire that your children be baptized, do you? Relying on God's grace, do you promise to live the Christian faith and to teach that faith to your children, do you? Friends, trusting in the gracious mercy of God, do you turn from the ways of sin and renounce evil and its power in the world, do you? Do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept Him as your Lord and Savior, trusting in His grace and love, do you? Will you be Christ's faithful disciple, obeying His word and showing His love, will you? Now a question for the sponsors. <coughs> Friends, do you promise through prayer and example to support and encourage this child, these children, to be faithful Christians, do you? Now Elder Mary Quam has that question that I promised for the congregation. Do we, as members of the Church of Jesus Christ, promise to guide and nurture Timothy, Benjamin, and Kai by word and deed, with love and prayer, encouraging them to know and follow Christ and to be a faithful member of this church. We do. Let us pray. We give you thanks, eternal God, for you nourish and you sustain all living things by the gift of water. In the beginning of time, your spirit moved over watery chaos, calling forth order and life. Through the parted waters of the Red Sea, you delivered your people from the hand of Pharaoh in the land of Egypt. In the waters of birth, Jesus Christ came into the world to serve and to save. We thank you, O God, for these waters of baptism. For in them we are buried with Christ in his death, and from them we are raised to share in his resurrection. Through them we are reborn by the power of the Holy Spirit. Send your spirit, we pray, to move over this water, that it may be a fountain of deliverance and rebirth. Wash away the sins of all who are cleansed by it, raise them to new life, and graft them into the body of Christ. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon them, that they may have power to do your will, and to continue forever in the risen life of Christ. To you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, be all praise and honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. Friends, what is the Christian name of this child? Timothy John. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Timothy, you are a beloved child of God. Live all of your days in the sure knowledge that you are saved by God's love and wrapped in God's grace. Amen. <laughs> Are you ready to be baptized? And what is the Christian name of this child? Benjamin George, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Benjamin, you are a beloved child of God. Live all of your days in the sure knowledge that you are saved by God's love and wrapped in God's grace. Amen. We've got another guy back here somewhere. All right, guy, you ready for this? Come see me. And friends, what is the Christian name of this child? Guy Jerome. Guy Jerome. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Kai, you are a beloved child of God. Live all of your days in the sure knowledge that you are saved by God's love and wrapped in God's grace. Amen. <laughs> Friends, always at times of baptism, we participate together in symbolic rituals of welcome. Oftentimes, when the person who's being baptized fits right here in my arm, I will walk out into the, into the sanctuary, into the congregation, and you all, you all get to smile and to greet this child. Today, we have a special way of doing, it, doing that, and so I want to invite our baptismal children, as well as their families and sponsors, to come and join me right here in the middle of the chancel. We're gonna, there's a big group of us. We're all going to get together. 
and I want to invite I want to invite our first grade milestone participants. If you are in first grade, come right on up here, and we're going to do something that people, come on up, Lily. We're going to do something that people in the church have been doing for a really long time, and it's called laying on hands. So what I want the first graders to do is kind of gather around, and I want you to put your hands just somewhere on the people who are up here. You can put them on each other. It's a little bit like holding hands, but this is a way that we bless and that we celebrate. So you can put your hand right on, right on one another, and we're going to pray, and we're going to pray just like we do a lot of the time at the end of the time with the children. So I'm going to invite everyone, I'm going to invite everyone to repeat after me as we pray this prayer of blessing on these newly baptized children and their families. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you so much for Tim and Ben and Kai. Thank you for loving them. Thank you for loving them. And thank you for making them part of us. And thank you for making them part of us. Help us to keep our promises. Help us to keep our promises. And help us to love you. Help us to love you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Prince Tim and Ben and Kai are the newest members of the communion of saints. Thanks be to God. Amen. Thank you.